Here we are at KADYTV.com. I'm Mary Ann Rooney on the red carpet at the kitchen in downtown Oxnard. We're getting ready to uh, show the show Triple D. Dives, diners, and drive-ins. Here we are with Gay Guy Fieri. How are you, Guy? Good to see you tonight. Thanks for being here. Here we are at the kitchen. Come on down, downtown Oxnard. Hi, Mary Ann Rooney here on KADYTV.com. We're at the kitchen in downtown Oxnard with Kathy Moreno. A big night for you tonight. It is a big night. We're so excited. There's lots of people here coming out for the festivities. Our show airs tonight at 7 p.m., so we only have a little bit of time. That's right. Uh, January 30th, 2012 at Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, yes, right? with Guy Fieri. He was here um, in October, and... Now we're going to see the final product tonight at 7 o'clock. I haven't seen it. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know anything. Well, that's great. So how is it that he selected the kitchen to do this? He um, let a lot of city officials and uh, maybe the Chamber of Commerce um, and other entities as such know that they were looking for places in the area. And so we had people call in for us. So, yeah. Well, you know, I'm a regular here, and I, I love know. it here, and it's such great food and everything. So tell us a little bit behind the scenes. So what kind of day was it when he was here filming? They were here for two full days. Um, he wasn't here the first day at all, so things were pretty mellow because I wasn't so nervous. And then he got here about halfway through on the second day, and... Um, Still, I was I got a little nervous, but I think I still did a pretty good job. That's so. great. So, um, what did he do when he was here? He um, we made the lamb burger together in the kitchen and the veggie burger, and that's what we have uh, mini samples of tonight. Um, so you can come in and try what guy ate. Okay, so one thing that we wouldn't know, I mean, when you film a television show, I mean, there's all sorts of things that go on. So give us a little bit of scoop of something that people may not know when you film a show like that. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> Don't, like, look don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera. He threatened great. me that if I look at the camera one more time. So. But, that's so funny. So tell us how long has the kitchen been here in downtown Oxnard? We've been here about a year and six months. Um, so we're fairly new. So this is going to be an incredible boost for us and for the whole downtown Oxnard. Because um, as you know, tonight we have a little taste of downtown. We have eight local restaurants, three breweries, three wineries. Um, we carry all those wineries and breweries products here. So we wanted to showcase downtown Oxnard and let everybody know that what we what a gem we have here. And Guy saw it, so we should spread the word to everyone else. Absolutely. So here we are at KADYTV.com at the kitchen in downtown Oxnard. If you want good food, come on down to the kitchen. Kathy, thanks so much. And don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera. Here we go. Back with Kathy Marina, the owner of the kitchen. How's it going? Hi, hi, hi. I bet you didn't know, but we're the multitaskers. Did you know that? No. If you check us out on the Food Network and you hit guide, we are the multitaskers because we bake it, we brew it, and we cook it. And then we so, eat it. And then I drink it, too. Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha Thanks so much. Thanks. Don't look at the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, the show has started. Here we are, oh my gosh, at the kitchen in downtown Oxnard, and we have some wonderful, wonderful visuals. If you look at the television sets in your room, outside we have a large screen, we have one in the boardroom, we have one in the bar, we have another uh, in the inside section of the, uh, the main dining room. Ladies and gentlemen, the kitchen will be featured in the third segment of this half-hour show of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Guy Fieri is starting his show. We're going to turn up the volume. It's brought to you by all of our downtown people. Ladies and gentlemen, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives featuring the kitchen in downtown Oxnard. Hi, here we are back at the kitchen with Jerry Moreno. How are you tonight? Fine, how are you? I'm doing great. So you're the mom of Kathy, uh, the owner of the kitchen, and you know, I mean, it's in your family that the kitchen and, and stores and things like that. How'd that all happen? La Dolce Vita, That's Michelle. Right. Yeah. So well, where was the inspiration to have restaurants and stores and all of that? Well, I grew up in the restaurant business, and when I went to finish high school and started college, I swore I would never be in the restaurant business. <laughs> so I became a stockbroker, and I was a stockbroker for a long time. And we moved to Ventura County 40 years ago. And uh, my dad had a piece of property at the beach. And uh, I decided I wanted a gourmet food store in Delhi. That's great. And so that's what we did. So uh, probably.
probably the girls were involved as you had the store they down at the beach. They all grew up in the business. Yeah, and so this is probably a natural for Kathy to it, do this. Very natural. But, you know, you send them to college and they go back in the family <laughs> business. <laughs> well, you did something right anyway. This is really exciting. There's about 400 people here tonight. Yes, I understand they were sold out last week. Yeah. So... How exciting. So, I mean, you know, to have Guy Fieri come in here to the kitchen and do a show about this, I mean, probably makes you really proud. It does make me proud, and it's good for Oxnard, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, I said to them one day, I said, you know what, Oxnard needs to start trends, not end them. Yep. So, Absolutely. hopefully this will be the beginning of great things for Oxnard. That's great. Thanks. And here we are at KADYTV.com. Hi, here we are back at the kitchen. It's a opening night for the Guy Fieri Show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dive. And we found our own little local celebrity, Adrian Nieto of MasterChef. How are you? Very good. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, I mean, this is really exciting coming down here and great. I mean, this is national coverage for Oxnard. I think this is one of the coolest events we've had in Oxnard. I'm, I'm proud that, you know, and happy and, and, and feel humble that they let me in. And uh, that I, just to be a part of it. I mean, it's so cool to see downtown local small business and to see everyone from Oxnard here supporting Oxnard. That's it's a phenomenal feeling. Well, you know, it was just a few months ago that I was watching you on MasterChef, and I was rooting for you Thank all you. the way along. And it was Appreciate really exciting it. to see our hometown guy. Yeah, here. I was definitely trying. Um, and I, as soon as I came home, I told my friends and family that anytime I won a challenge or if I was doing good, it's because I was thinking about home, uh, Ventura County. Um, you know, I've been going to farmers markets and, 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 and supporting local business ever since I was a foodie. So for me, I, I always thought of hometown, Ventura, Oxnard, everywhere here. So I hear that you ventured into your own business here. You yes. want to tell us about it? Yeah, uh, this is my brand here. It uh, literally translates to raw, but it also, in slang terminology, means hungover which is a play for us, you know, as far as food goes. Uh, we support uh, local, seasonal, sustainable as much as possible, organic as much as possible. We do catering, and we just bought a food truck, so you will be seeing us around. Well, that's great. So where is the uh, store, uh, restaurant going to be located? Uh, once we open up a restaurant, hopefully within a year, we're looking either Ventura, Oxnard, or Westlake area. You know, Thousand Oaks, still Ventura County. Ventura okay. County for sure. Well, you need to make sure, because it sounds like it's really great. So if you're interested in organic, sustainable food, it's going to be delicious cooked by Adrian Nieto. Come and visit Cruda. 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 And I have a little present for you. This oh, is wow. Guy Fieri. You need to change your hat, oh, buddy, and put that hat on. <laughs> it's see. Guy Fieri night. Right. I think that looks a whole lot better. <laughs> I think I'm going to start saying money now. Everything's money. Yeah, they might They might confuse you with Guy Fieri. Here we are. We're going to keep an eye out on the lookout for Guy, because I hear he might be here. I hope so. All right, great. Thanks right, for being guys. here with see us. See you later. So we know Guy Fieri's running around, but in the meantime, we found Pablo Ortiz, who we call the unofficial mayor of Oxnard. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, I, I live on the street with the mayor, and so I don't use that title very often, <laughs> because I love Tommy, That's the official right. mayor. That's right. He's the official one. We'll just, there's a few other official ones. But I, I'm, I'm so honored by it, because people uh, look at that as, uh, as, a, um, as a term of endearment for a guy that is out there almost every day trying to do something for the city well, and the people. You have been so involved with the city of Oxnard and I really appreciate everything that you've done for the city and the Salsa Festival and downtown. We know you love downtown. So here we are at, at gosh, this is a really exciting night tonight. Yes, it uh, is. The diners, drive-ins and dives. National, oh. That's national exposure. Well, I like them all. You know, uh, diners, uh, when I was in New York, I ate at diners all the time. <laughs> Um, uh, drive-ins, when I was young, uh, we used to go to the drive-in because we couldn't get out and because we didn't know how to act in public. <laughs> and uh, dives, well, heck, I was born in a dive, so <laughs> let me tell you something. This is what it's about. Yeah. You know, uh, this show really has given us an opportunity to showcase Oxnard in such a way that you, if you're watching this program tonight, can see all the commotion we want you to understand that it's for a reason. It's we want you to know how wonderful the people in Oxnard are and how hard we're trying to bring things to you. Food, other businesses that will make you uh, proud and happy and, 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 uh, and bring the business to Oxnard. Yep. We, we have a wonderful downtown. It's every day gets better. And tonight is a wonderful example. And because of people like you, and so many others that are here making this possible. It's good. There is nothing more that I can say. Come on down to downtown Oxnard with the kitchen and the other fine restaurants that we have. Pablo Ortiz, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you, Marianne. All right. We found Guy Fieri.
Larry here at the kitchen. How are you tonight? I am awesome. <laughs> this is money tonight. This is money. Yeah. Fist bump. <laughs> so what made you decide to do a Guy Fieri lookalike? Oh, uh, how can you not? It's a great night, great food, keep the community going, and uh, I, I had to, it was a long time to grow the beard, but uh, no, it's a great, it's a great event. So do you want to share with us your real name? Leslie. Leslie. Well, you look awesome. I mean, I had to turn my head and look and see, is that really Guy Fieri? So uh, it's really awesome that you're here tonight. Do you watch his show regularly? I go to every Triple D place I can. I've been probably 10. I'm a big fan of his, and um, so I was honored that he came to our town. So I have to, I have to come here tonight. Absolutely, and Adrian Nieto is here. I don't know if you watch Master Chef, but he's in the house too. So we just oh. saw him too. So Leslie, thanks so much for being here at the at the kitchen with the dives, drivers, and dives. <laughs> Money. Thanks, Leslie. Thank you. Here we are back at the kitchen at an extremely fun night. I yes. heard that you came up with this idea. Well, I mean, they were going to have a party anyways, but um, the downtown restaurants are in a marketing committee that I chair, and we said, hey, let's amp this up and have the public come to it. We did some test marketing in December. Everyone wanted to come and have a party here together, so we've got over 400 guests here tonight. That's awesome. So this is Gary Blum. I forgot to mention who he was, and chair of the downtown Oxford marketing committee, marketing right? Marketing committee, yep. So, um, why is it important for everybody to come down to downtown and see what's going on down here? You know, we've got some incredible restaurants down here that a lot of people don't know. Uh, people are following the food scene in other parts of the county. We've got some incredible restaurants. They're not the chains. You know, Oxnard's got a good amount of chains, but the great, best independents are Oxnard or in downtown. you got to come down here and check it out. Yeah, definitely got to come down and check it out. Gary's been here for a long time. His family's been around since. Five generations. <laughs> Only five generations of uh, pettits here in the town. So, what is the one thing that you like about Oxnard? Everything. <laughs> I love Oxnard. I love Oxnard too. So come on down to downtown at the kitchen. Thanks for being here, Gary. Thanks. Back at the kitchen, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives brought out all of our local celebrities. Here I am with Tom and Sandy from 805 on KVTA. KVTA 1520. 1520. All right. Awesome. Right. So why'd you guys come out tonight? Are you kidding? Everything's going on here tonight. Look how many great restaurants are here. You've got Sugar Beets. you got, what, Fifth Street Steakhouse. You've got The Kitchen. How many others are out okay, here? Okay, so not to mention the beer. You've got Islands. You've got Embrin. Holy moly, I'm stuck on the beer. So so why, is, why is it that he mentions the restaurants and you mention the beer? Well, see, I'm the beer I don't see, know. I, you know. We work off each other. I don't know. i got to be honest with you. <laughs> when we first started this show a couple years ago, she didn't like beer. She liked wine. Now she likes beer, and I'm starting to like wine. So I'm starting to wonder, if I start wearing a dress and she starts wearing my sports coat, we got a problem. I think you're going to go have to go off radio to have that one first. Well, I'm going to look better. <laughs> All right, let's see the Have legs here. Who's legs? got the better Have legs? His legs? No, hey, I, I, I don't know that I want to. better than me. Let me tell you right now. I don't I know that I really want to see his legs <laughs> anyway. So. I have a face for rage. I don't either. I, I don't either. The no, the face for rage. Bring the, bring the cameras back up, please. <laughs> Well, thanks for being here. This is really exciting. Do you live in Oxnard? Actually, I live in Moore Park. Sandy I live in Camarillo. Okay, but you have to tell me one thing that you like about Oxnard. You know, I like the diversity in Oxnard. I like the fact that you can walk to any different restaurant and you get a different, you know, you get a different culture. Yeah. It's cool. That's great. I, I love mean, it. Oh, from downtown Oxnard to Heritage Square, it's fantastic. Oxnard is becoming a real foodie culture and you're seeing it all over now. It's totally different. And people that think of Oxnard and they think of the old ways of Oxnard, forget about it. It's a totally different place now. Great. It's so, like happening out here. Well, it is happening. We already all knew that, but I'm glad that you guys could come out tonight to find yeah, out about you. it. So thanks for being here, Tom and Sandy, on the KVTA show. Back here at the kitchen. Haven't found Guy Fieri yet, but I found Bri Byron Best from the Visitors Bureau. How are you? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Great. So, I mean, this is kind of a, a part of the International Restaurant Week that Oxnard's put together, right? Correct. This is actually the, the send-off to Restaurant Week. This is the last night. And what better way to kick it off and, and to finish it with a party at the kitchen. So this is the first time that Oxnard's had this International Restaurant Week, right? Actually, it's the second year. We had it last year. We've changed a few things up from last year. And it's been wildly successful this year. It's been really great. That's great. So how many restaurants were involved in that? And, and where were they located? 17 restaurants involved in Restaurant Week. Ten of those restaurants are in the downtown core. And we had restaurants out in the harbor and other parts of, of Oxnard. So we try to hit every area of Oxnard, or as many as possible. But well, that's really exciting.
exciting. I mean, to get the awareness out that people can come and eat downtown and other places too, and there's great restaurants, right? Terrific. It's fantastic. And we're trying to highlight that Oxnard has great dining options, very eclectic, um, international in its flavor, as well as great food. That's great. So you're working at the Visitors Bureau and you're putting all these things together in the, in the Welcome Center too, right? Correct. Correct. I'm, I'm in charge of marketing and communications and and try to do as much as I can to, to lift um, Oxnard and, and to showcase Oxnard to visitors outside of the city limits. So tell us one thing about Oxnard that you really love. Well, it's hard to pick just one thing, but one of the things that I really love is actually going into the Mullen Automotive Museum. And, and I'm, I love cars, but I'm not a diehard car guy, but those are works of art that they have inside that museum. Yeah. Great little place at the Mall and Olive Auto Museum. And if you get hungry after going to the Auto Museum, come by the kitchen and the other restaurants downtown. And here we are, Byron Best. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Back at the kitchen at this incredibly fun night tonight with Sheila Jenkins, the uh, coordinator of the Downtown Parade, and what the, else? The uh, operation manager for the Oxnard Salsa Festival. Okay, awesome. Well, you know, I mean, this brings people downtown, really shows them that there's some wonderful things going on at downtown Oxnard all year long. There are things almost monthly. I mean, the Oxnard Salsa Festival is coming up at the end of July, on July 28th and 29th. We're famous for the Tamale Festival. We've got all kinds of, we have farmer's markets. Every single night, every single month, there's something going on. Wow, and so you're just involved, and I mean, well, how fun is that to be coordinating things for downtown Oxnard? It is an exciting. Some people say, how'd you get that job? And um, we encourage you to come down because there's lots of opportunities to volunteer, uh, to get involved, to have fun. And the best part about Oxnard is you see it, but you have to come experience it because there's fantastic restaurants, there's just great people, and I mean, you can see by this event tonight, there's a lot of energy. There is. So, um, is there a website that shows all the activities going on in downtown Oxnard? There sure is. You want to go to www downtownoxnard.org and of course can I say the salsa festival Absolutely. and for the salsa festival it's www.oxnardsalsafestival.com those of us in the know know that downtown Oxnard is the place to be all year long thanks, thanks for being here Sheila you. Back here at the kitchen, the show just started, and we're in the third segment on there. We've got uh, Council Member Tim Flynn. How are you tonight? Um, I'm excited about this event. I think that we need to have more of these events in the city of Oxnard, and I hope this just starts. This is just a beginning of something incredible for the people of the city of Oxnard, and I'm really excited about it. You know, it is. I mean, to have more excitement of people coming downtown, getting engaged. I mean, we have some great restaurants downtown. Well, I have been to every one of the restaurants, and I can only say that the public is missing out. There's so <laughs> many people that don't realize what exists in downtown Oxnard, and contrary to what some people think, okay, it's a hundred percent safe. It is. And if you don't believe it's not safe, I'll be your body. I'll be your bodyguard. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can get some other folks that are, you know, bigger than us to be our bodyguards too. Right? Well, that would be great. That would be incredible. <laughs> so, what does it mean to have, you know, this kind of excitement and national exposure for downtown Oxnard? Well, I think it's a great testament to what the kitchen has done. I think it's really that when you have a national program that's giving attention to a local restaurant, really I think it's about the what that local restaurant has done in a very short amount of time. I would say in about one year that, I mean, when you put something together the way they put it together and in one year you're getting national attention, yeah. you're doing something right. But it doesn't take away at all from the other restaurants downtown. Yeah. And these restaurants are incredible, but they're going to benefit from this, yep. and the kitchen will benefit from them, and it's all about having 
places here in the city of Oxnard that people feel comfortable to going, that offer a great atmosphere, great food, and it's exciting for me because I only live a few blocks from here. So. <laughs> well, you know, it's great because, I mean, this is not, you said it, it's not just about the kitchen, and I mean, a lot of restaurants came together to help provide food for tonight, so everybody collaborating together to make it a wonderful place. Well, I think that's another testament to uh, the, uh, the kitchen because... Um, the kitchen could have said, this is all about the kitchen right. and not about other downtown restaurants. But you know what? When these, when, when, when the kitchen says, reaches out to the downtown restaurants and says, look, uh, we're, being, we're being highlighted tonight in this national program, but we want you to be part of it. I think that, I mean, if I were a restaurant owner and somebody came to me and did that, I would say, are you crazy? Why would you <laughs> want to highlight me? Right. But it shows really that they're in here, it's a team approach. And that's the way Oxnard downtown is really going to make it. And and really, it's been a renaissance. The recession uh, really, I think, has stalled that renaissance. But this is the revival of it right that's now. That's great. So I've been asking everybody tonight, what's the one thing that they like about Oxnard? It's the people. It's the history. And it's events like this. There you heard it from Council Member Tim Flynn. Thanks for being here at the kitchen tonight for the much. Triple D. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. kitchen with the diners, drive-ins, and dives with Supervisor Zara Gose. How are you tonight? Well, it's really great to be here today to uh, to see downtown come together and to see all the restaurants that were invited to come here and enjoy this beautiful place, the kitchen, and to be uh, shown across the United States is really outstanding for downtown Oxnard. The PBIT has done an excellent job. The city of Oxnard has done a great job here with the, with the theater and all the amenities that go with downtown. And I just love it, and just to see, to see this many people here in downtown on a Monday is fantastic. You know, it's really exciting. There were about 400 people down here tonight, and the excitement that, that people come down and see what downtown's all about, and we hope they'll come back. Well, you know, I think uh, if anything, anybody that sees this uh, video, make sure you come downtown. It's beautiful. The kitchen here is just outstanding. And again, you know, all the restaurants that we have here, the movies, the the plaza park and the parades and all the amenities that go with it are just outstanding and and it's just great great to represent the fifth district you know what Oxford. this is a testament to your leadership because you were on city council where things were starting to move through through your leadership there now being on the county board of supervisors i mean it's really great for the support that you have for downtown absolutely. oxnard thank you absolutely it's an honor because you know i was in the city council when we put together the the theater in the downtown and we had individuals that said it wouldn't work but this is a testament to the good things that we've done and also the help that all the community has given us. That's great. Thanks for being here. Thank Supervisor Zaragoza at the kitchen with the triple D. That's what we'll say tonight. Thank you so much. Here we are back at the kitchen tonight with the 3D. Did you see the uh, show tonight? It's going to be amazing. I just got here. I had night watch briefing, so I just arrived. But it's big fun. So this is uh, Chief Kathleen Sheehan, the uh, Chief of Police for Port Wainimi. How long has it been since you've been here? About a year and a half. But I'm a huge fan of dine-ins, drivers, and dives. Did I say that? I Diners, drive-ins, and dives. I Guy Fieri, way cool. I've been messing that up all night, so I yeah, finally went to, to 3D. 3D? That's what Guy <laughs> says. It must be good. It must be so. So there were some look-alikes tonight of, of Guy. Oh, really? Did you see them? No, I haven't gotten that far. What I want to know is how does that red Camaro make it to three states in one night? You know, that was another question, too. I mean, I I suspected that they put it in a trailer or something, drive it, you know, towed it along behind him. I think they got 16 red Camaro. <laughs> and they just pre-staged them in different locations. That's yeah, how I do it. Yeah, it could be. So um, you just got here tonight. There were 400 people here tonight. Isn't that it's amazing? Crazy. It's a good time. Yeah. Good food, good company. I keep running into people I know. Yeah. Very fun. Well, we're, we're glad that you're here in Oxnard. And we were talking that uh, downtown Oxnard, it's safe here. It's wonderful here. You know, I've been to other events where we actually walk from restaurant to restaurant, yeah. look at some art, taste a little bit of wine, taste a little bit of Girl. food, have a good time. I never quite got that far. Probably not good for my career. Probably not a good image that you went <laughs> But it was great. Good times. There. Good but time. thanks for being here at the kitchen at 3D with Chief, Chief Sheehan. Thanks. Thanks, Maria. So I found Guy again.
again. How are you tonight? I'm Guy. I'm having a good time. So tell us your real name. Larry Jenkins. Larry Jenkins. So they said you were Larry Fieri. Fier <laughs> Guy's my little brother. <laughs> That's great. So um, what made you decide to dress up like him tonight? Uh, you know, my girlfriend told me I look a little like him. So I... Uh, so I uh, showed up this way, put a shirt on, and came over and found a hat, and here I am. Well, wouldn't it be nice if you had the same money that he did, right? I'd love to have the same money as him. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, thanks. So um, do you live in Oxnard? I live in Ventura. Okay. So what's the best thing you like about Oxnard? Uh, Rancho Ventavo wine. Ah. <laughs> so if you're interested in having a little wine tasting down at Heritage Square, stop by Rancho Ventavo. Says Guy Fieri, there right? There you go. Thanks for being here. Okay, thank you. Back at the kitchen at an incredibly interesting night tonight. I mean, I'm here with Mike Barber. How are you? I'm great. I'm having a wonderful time. You know, it really is a lot of energy going on down here. It's about 400 people down here at the kitchen in downtown Oxnard. And it's it's exciting to have all this energy and everything downtown. I mean, have you seen anything like this? You know, this shows we can do it. We can get people down here for a good time in downtown Oxnard. I'm so excited. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have a misconception that, you know, there's nothing to do in downtown Oxford. And I tell you, there's a lot of restaurants that are here and good restaurants, too. And, you know, that's one of the things with Santa to the Sea. We try to highlight and show off downtown. And um, this is just another great event in downtown. And people are having, look at how much fun people are having. It's great. You know, it's really a lot of fun. And you do the Santa to the Sea race. And, I mean, we just finished it about a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, and you work all year long to help. And tell us a little bit about the charity and what your mission is. Well, we uh, do scholarships. This year we're doing 36 scholarships. Uh, we've partnered with uh, the foundation of Oxnard College. We're doing 36 this year. Uh, we gave away over 2,000 toys and gifts. And we gave uh, $6,000 to our local charity. So we thought we were successful this year and we want to be do more for the community next year. Well, we appreci appreciate the work that you do for our community, and it makes it a wonderful place to be. Thanks yes. so much. Mike Barber, Santa Thank to you. the Sea Rest, Santa to the Sea Marathon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being here at the kitchen. Oh, thanks for having me. So we just saw Guy Fieri here. You did? <laughs> well, Leslie, man, she was really dressed up just like you. So She's perfect. Yeah, she was really great. So uh, we talked to your mom, we talked to your sister, and now it's you, the owner of La Dolce Vita. So how do you feel about all of this tonight? It's awesome. Everybody's having a great time. It's casual, you know, it's easy, no stress, which is really nice. That's great. Well, you know, this is very exciting. And your mom talked about how, you know, the restaurant business is in your blood, it seems like. Even though you go away, you come back and, and you land back in Oxnard. So why Oxnard? You know, where you began, it's just one of those things where you, it's like a full circle, you know? And we've always been off the beaten path. That's was our mantra at the deli. We don't want to be the best kept secret. Yeah. You know, so here we are back in a more secretive location that's getting out there, though. So we think that national exposure tonight will bring people downtown to Oxnard. And you know what? They're going to head down to Heritage Square. If you haven't been to La Dolce Vita yet, go down the street to Heritage Square and visit Michelle. Your food is delicious. I just have a great time. So how long has um, La Dolce Vita been open? Six years at this location. And of course, you've won awards and things like that. We're really proud of you. And so thanks for having your restaurant in downtown Oxnard. Here we are. KDY. Uh, we got a lot of people coming back from now. But again, the the prior owner was the out of the blue. He, he was not even from Boston. The French guy. The French guy. Exactly yeah, Noel. Noel. Yeah. Come on, Boston. Come on, Boston. Come on, Boston. All right, guys, here we are with Magda of Fresh and Fabulous. We're still having a good time here at the kitchen for the premiere of uh, Diners, Dinings, and Drives. And, and I just want to ask you to tell us uh, where you're located, what you're serving, and, and how you feel about this awesome community that we're starting and supporting uh, local, awesome, small business. Well, it's been a great night, and I see so many local people, but also some new people coming in. We're Fresh and Fabulous at the corner of 4th and A in downtown Oxnard, just a block away from here. And we're in the old Woolworth building. And um, what else? <laughs> oh, just uh, if you want to talk, I, I, I've eaten here plenty. Oh, uh, I mean, the paninis, the salad, the soups of the day, they change all the time. Um, 
I, I, I really want to just say thank you so much, actually, for the experiences that I've had there. Um, this is a phenomenal event. I think that you should check out everyone that's here. But if you're looking for a really nice, wholesome, uh, uh, you know, and it's in the name, fresh and fabulous uh, meal, you definitely got to, and come meet Magda. I mean, not only do you get great food, but you have a really sweet hostess that takes care of you, makes sure that you're, that everything that you need I is there. Try, but we brought our chicken, uh, creamy chicken, mushroom rice and sage soup. Total like perennial favorite, and then we brought our um, mushroom and sage and chicken. Right, very like wintry, even though it was like 70 degrees out today. <laughs> but we have also our cranberry pecan chicken salad that is just a bestseller. So and and it went really fast. So I'm really happy that people enjoyed it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I Magda's become a great friend of mine, and and you got to come visit the mascot of Fresh and Fabulous, her awesome son. This is Jack. Say hi, Jack. You want to tell everyone to go eat at Fresh and Fabulous? Yeah. It's so yummy. Yummy. Mommy makes the best food? Yeah. Awesome. There you go. I mean, if a kid is happy about the food, you know that it's a winner. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. That's so funny. Guy, watch out. All right. That'll work. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, got the flex and everything. Okay. Come on, everybody. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You know, I wish I could just, I wish I knew names, but we think we know who, who got this tonight, right, Kathy? Yeah. Kathy, you go ahead and pick it. I think, I think we all know who, who got it. Hi, guys. So now we're here with uh, Ruben of Fifth Street Steak and Seafood. I've, I've, he's become a great friend. I've eaten his food uh, uh, maybe a little bit too much, and <laughs> but I'm not going to stop, I'll tell you that. And uh, he brought his famous chicken, Allison. I, I, I can't get enough of it. And uh, I just want to ask you, what is it like to um, be here for this awesome event, the debut of the kitchen on uh, Guy Fieri's show? And she's allowed, you know, brought all these other small businesses in. Um, how do you feel about the event and being here and about downtown Oxnard and your restaurant? Well, this is what we're showing to other people. And downtown and Oxnard coming as a family all together and inviting you over so you can support the business around here. And we, you can try the best food that we have here in downtown Oxnard. And everything is for you guys. So you're more than welcome to come back and come back anytime. We're open for you here. Make sure you say hi to Ruben. It's, it's just, if, you, if you go to Fifth Street Steak and Seafood, it's like he's welcoming you into welcoming welcoming you into his home. Sorry, I think uh, I've had such a good time tonight. That's what oh, I did. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I love it, and um, and we also got the best bartender in, in, in the county for the for the whole year. So you got to try the signature drinks that we have at the State House. I know you're gonna come back. I know you will love it. Thank you, Ruben. You're welcome. See you guys at Fifth Thank Street you. Steak and Seafood. Okay. All right. With the Triple D night, what do you think about this? It's incredible. The feel, the energy, the buzz here in downtown Oxnard. It's really great. So this is Abel Magana. You're the executive director of the Oxnard Downtown Management District, right? That's right. We uh, we're a downtown management district. We're a property-based improvement district. The property owners here in the downtown all pull in their money to make downtown a vibrant awesome place to be for everybody you know i mean there were 400 people here tonight they had a sellout isn't that great it's incredible it's a buzz i mean i feel like i'm in hollywood right now we had a red carpet we had a sponsor wall people getting their photos taken next to guy fieri cut out i mean it's just the energy is incredible. I mean, I think wish it could be like this every night, and I think it can be. It can be. You know, I think that there's a, a an image, a perception that downtown isn't have uh, great things to do, and I mean, there's lots of things to do. Are, it's safe. Yeah. It's fun. It's got great food. Oh, are you kidding me? I mean, it, it's got so many things to do. We have an emerging nightlife out here. We've got star rock star restaurant tours out here. We have Michelle. Michelle Kenny at La Dolce Vita. We have, of course, Kathy Kenny here. Kathy Moreno. 
Kathy Moreno here at the kitchen, and and, uh, and then we have uh, Martine Ledesma at Sugar Beats, and we got a whole host of other restaurateurs in diners, drive-ins, and dives types of uh, yeah. places here. Restaurants at all levels. Out you here. know, and you just had an international uh, international restaurant week too, so I heard about that a little bit. How'd that go? Big time. Out of the 16 restaurants that were featured, district or uh, citywide, 10 of them were right here in the downtown. That tells you something about what we're building out here in terms of a dining district. It's awesome. Yeah, it's really exciting. If you're hungry, come on down to downtown Oxnard here at the kitchen tonight. Thanks, Abel. Hey, one more plug. Oh, okay. Food trucks, first Thursdays every month coming up February 2nd. They're back online. We got comfort foods. Come out for great food and great eats. <laughs> Gourmet food trucks and retail ones down here too. Come on down to downtown Oxnard. Thanks, Marianne. <laughs> Everybody. My name is Patrick Barons. I'm here with KADYTV.com. We're here at the kitchen just celebrating the, the Triple D. But we have here is a, uh, a local business person that just opened up a brand new store. How long ago? My official opening, my grand opening was uh, January 14th. Wow. January 14th. This is Martha. Yes, right? my name my is Martha. Mosca Shanahan and I just opened up a shop downtown Oxnard. It's on A Street and I'm right across the street from the Oxnard Public Library and what I feature is uh, antiques, vintage and collectibles. It's really a great store. I've been collecting for about 40 years and it's everything from the, from the 30s to the 80s and you'll love it. Wow, 40 years, huh? Is that what they get? <laughs> That's a true story. My house was looking like a store, so I'm counting when I was very young. Very, very nice. And again, what is the name of your, your store? Okay, the name of my store is Classy Vintage and Collectibles Antique Storefront, downtown A Street. <laughs> Thank you very much, Martha. Again, this is Patrick Barons with KADYTV.com. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Just spin the personal dance bar. Cha-cha, real smooth. Up, back, cha-cha-cha.